Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Border Gateway Protocol, otherwise known as BGP. Specifically with BGP, we're going to be taking a look at BGP troubleshooting. And this is BGP troubleshooting lab number four. So in this lab, we're going to be given a couple of trouble tickets, and we are going to have to configure our network so that the BGP configuration and connectivity is restored. So the first thing that I'm going to do is give you guys a brief introduction to this network diagram. We have three routers. We have router 1, router 2, and router 3. Router 1 and router 3 are in autonomous system 100. And they are connected to each other via fast Ethernet 00. And they are on subnet 192.168.13.0.24. Router 1 is the dot 1 and router 3 is the dot 3. We see also that router 3 has a loopback 0 interface with the IP address 183.3.3.0/24. And then we also see that router 1 has an external BGP neighbor relationship with router 2. Router 2 is in BGP autonomous system 200 and the interfaces connecting router 1 and router 2 is serial 00 on both sides and the network between them is 166.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 30 router 1 is the dot 1 and router 2 is the dot 2 and we also see that we have a loopback 0 interface on R2 with the IP address 174.24.0.0 slash .0 .0 16 So now that we are familiar with the network, let's go ahead and take a look at our trouble tickets. So again, this is BGP troubleshooting lab number four. Our first ticket says that you have recently upgraded your network and you have decided to run an internal BGP IBGP connection from R1 to R3. You have decided to let one of your junior level network administrators configure the IBGP neighbor relationship. After a few hours you check the status with the network administrator who says that they are unable to get the IBGP neighbor relationship established. Configure the network so that R1 and R3 peer IBGP with each other. So our first trouble ticket it appears as though our network administrator is having problems trying to get the IBGP neighbor relationship formed between R1 and R3. Again, this is in BGP Autonomous System 100. So one of the first things that we need to check is we need to go on to the routers, make sure that we have layer 1, layer 2, and basic layer 3 reachability before we can peer IBGP between the two routers. So let's go on to router 1 first. And the first thing that would be a good way to start off troubleshooting would be to do a show IP interface brief. This is going to give us good information, good layer 3 information assigned to the interfaces. It's going to give us our interface, which is faster than at 00 on R1, and that's the connection between R1 and R3. It gives us the IP address 192.168.13.1, which is correct according to our network diagram. We see the status is up again this is layer one and then the protocol is up as well again so that's layer two so if we do a show interface FA00 gives us a little more information gives us our subnet mask information again this is a slash 24 which is correct we have the layer one is up and line protocol layer two is up and we can see that we have packets inbound and outbound so again, again, no layer one or two issues that we know of right now. And what you can try to do is at this point, you can just try to do a simple ping from router one to router three. That way you can verify that you have layer three reachability from end to end. So in this case, we wouldn't have to go to router three and verify the layer one through three information if we can ping from router 1 to router 3. 
So again, from the network diagram, router 3 should be the 192.168.13.3 IP address. So if we go ahead on R1 and try to ping this, 192.168.13.3, we can see that we have reachability. So the next step in troubleshooting this issue is we need to now troubleshoot the protocol, which is BGP. So the routing protocol in this case is BGP. We can do a show IP protocols on R1. And what we can get from this is that we are running BGP for Autonomous System 100. We see that automatic route summarization is disabled. And we can see that what our neighbor statements are. We have a neighbor statement for 192.168.13.3. And it's going to give us our routing information sources. So for 192.168.13.3, which is our connection to router 3, we can see that the administrative distance is 200 which is correct for internal BGP. We do see however that our last update was over 15 minutes ago and this is way too long for BGP to receive an update and have connectivity. So again we are way out of the window for a neighbor relationship to be formed. Also if we look at the 166.002 we see a distance of 20. This is indicating an external BGP connection. Again, our last update was over 17 minutes ago, so that does not look good either. So besides doing a show IP protocols on R1 to check our IBGP connection to R3, we can also do the show IP BGP neighbor. I'm sorry, show IP BGP summary. And what this command is going to do is give us some good information as far as the neighbor which is router 3, which is 13.3. It gives us the autonomous system 